Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are looking at Kevin Harvick's 2020 Atlanta race win. This is the Bush for the Farmers car. Um, comes in the standard Elite box. Uh, so we got our Elite there, the little honeycomb thing going on. Uh, one of 627, so actually quite a few for the uh, Elite on this. Um, not sure why they're so high. I'm not sure if it was the Atlanta scheme or the, the for the farmer scheme that was so popular, but that is a lot of race or a lot of uh, elites because even Chase Elliott's standard scheme only had like 400 made. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So you do have the uh, authentic this card that means nothing. Uh, let's see. There we go. That card almost just ticks me off. It's it's sad to say, but I it makes no sense. Just don't include it. Don't have a worthless piece of cardboard in there that doesn't make sense because that's just one more thing I have to keep track of if I ever decide to sell the thing. Uh, Kevin Harvick, Folds of Honor, Quick Trip 500 winner. Uh, time of the race, 3 hours, 30 minutes, and 3 seconds. Uh, started ninth. total laps of 325. Number of cautions, 5 for 24 laps. He led 151 laps and won by 3.527 seconds. Um... Kevin Harvick scores third win at Atlanta. He won his first career race here, and then he had a 17-year drought where he was good. I mean, he was good at Atlanta all those years and couldn't get back to victory lane, and he finally did it in 2018, and he did it again this year in 2020. Um, but, yes, Harvick dominated the final stage. He led 151 laps, uh, including the final 56. Um, and then this was – yeah, it says his first scored win was here. Um then we also do have the winner sticker here, so the black and white or black and silver, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. So this car is the Bush for the Farmers uh, paint scheme. It's on the base still. I'm going to have to take this off. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to take this off the base quick. My bad, everybody. I usually try to make sure I have that done, but I, I realized I, I pulled it out of the box like this. So um, <laughs> I forgot to uh, do the simple part of just unscrewing it. Um, but it's coming off nice and easy. A little tight the screws were but that's i'd rather be that than unscrewed completely i had some ryan blaney's come in like that uh, a couple years back that really got me in trouble all right and i officially have it off the base all right so din number by the way is 110 let's just slide that over there down the left side here, you can see we do have the carbon fiber splitter down there at the bottom. A little bit of rubber buildup on the left front corner. There's our wheel, left front. Does it have a number? Left front eight, left front nine, something like that. Uh, then you can see the Goodyear Eagles, a couple of other tire chalk marks on there. There you see the sun coming up over the hills. Um, and then you can see the different lines in there. It's supposed to be different field lines. Uh, nice corn on the cob thing going on there. Um, at the back of the car, you got bush light with a, a little corn cob looking can uh hashtag for the farmers uh we got an ethanol ring back there and then haas jimmy johns and hunt brothers uh let's see left four i don't know i assume that must mean left rear set four or something i don't know um but yeah this uh this car is very um i mean i live in iowa so this is literally like an iowa car if you know i mean we're literally known for corn that's like the joke here is that you know you could talk to an iowan and ask them about politics they don't care you tell them about sports they don't care the minute you say something about corn they're all up in your face i think family guy made a joke about that but it was nebraska but <laughs> believe me the same thing flies here uh mobile one ford uh on that michigan plate number uh four over there on the right side you can see the rolling hills um in there as well and it's kind of cool because the blue on this car is supposed to be the skyline uh you see farm rescue and then bush light on the rear uh, bumper. We do have our fuel cell in the back there. Um, the clear spoiler with the black base to it. Din number is 110. You see Harvick on the rear window. Mobile one up there on the roof. And um, up here on the roof, I'm not sure that if this is like clouds or what this is supposed to be. It's really goofy looking though because you can see here on the roof where it's kind of spotty and almost feels like it was coffee stained. But um, yeah, it's it's intentional. So I think it's some type of cloud thing or something they're doing there. Uh, we do have Hunt Brothers Pizza logos around the camera. And then two antenna holes there. Got the Cup Series banner on the windshield. Onto the right side. Same thing here. We got For the Farmers. You can see a little bit of rubber stuff there from the burnout. And then on this right side, a little bit of dirt. Kind of all the way down the, the right side here. You've just got a, a steady amount of dirt there. Um, I've never, I never actually had this bush light. I don't know if it was any good. Um, it, if it's, frankly, if you just told me it's a, it's a beer that tastes like corn on the cob, I'm going to tell you that's disgusting because corn on the cob is great, but it's kind of great by itself. The only other thing I've ever had where they say it's corn on the cob flavored was act two had corn on the cob popcorn. It was amazing. And I've never heard of it since I've never, it's just one of those things I had like 
15 years ago. Never seen it again. Um, but every other thing that they have that's, you know, flavored corn on the cob, it ain't as good as a real thing. Um, but yes, if you, if you are actually wondering, yes, in Iowa, we literally do have corn straight out of the field. We go into the, we can go into a field, pull a corn cob off, heat it up, put butter on it and, and eat it. Now, that doesn't mean if I'm driving down the highway, I can stop going to a random field and pull that corn cob off. That's a different type of corn. However, yes, we can literally grow sweet corn in our backyards. We do it regularly. Um, so it's it's funny because there are people who they're, – they're misconstrued as far as how it works. There's two types of field, seed corn – well, there's actually more, but there's seed corn and sweet corn. Seed corn is literally hard kernels. You're not going to eat that stuff. It's for like hogs and junk. Um and that's most of what you see out in the out, you know, when you're driving along the highway, looking left and right. That's what you see. Sweet corn fields are small fields that you usually have next to your house. Some of them, I've seen a couple of big sweet corn fields. They go around and they sell everywhere. But um, for the most part, everything you're going to see there, and then is is the seed corn, and all the small joints are going to be sweet corn. You can also tell which ones which just based on the equipment and also the time of year. Sweet corn's out by late July, early August, and um, you're not going to see the the, uh, the seed corn out. That's not coming out until like mid October. Um, just so you know, so there's your, there's your information. Um, so even though I'm not a farmer, um, you know, Ag Wheel Express is the company I work for. So, uh, obviously we, we work with the farmers, but also know that the way the seasons turn. So anyway, let's get back to this car on the front of the car. We got the Ford Mustang front end. We got the tape on there. We got some dirt, uh, going around here on the left front here or on the front of the bumper here. We got that carbon fiber splitter again. You can see the dirt just kind of built up on the nose of the car. You got bush light, uh, brewed for the farmers. Or brood, yeah, brood for the farmers. So, uh, as I said, never tried it. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. Um, I guess I'll just uh, have to take somebody's word for it, though. I'm not a huge bush light drinker. Um, I tend to prefer actually my rums. Uh, but underneath here, you can see we got uh, Powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Wix, uh, blue valve covers up there, uh, a couple other marks in there. There's actually a spot in there where you could put plug wires if you ever dug into it. Um, I'm going to start doing some detailing on these elites when I get them in. So I will go through what I do. That'll be in a separate video, though. Um, underneath the car, we do have DIN number 110, working and functioning rear suspension and front suspension. Uh, we also do have the black tailpipes there and then the engine detail up up under here. There's our little transmission and stuff. So um, Overall, this is a, a very neat paint scheme. The, the race wind itself doesn't have a ton of crazy damage, anything like that. I do like race wind cars in general, so I liked this paint scheme. I thought about getting the paint scheme, and then when he won, I was like, okay, well, this is a two birds, one stone. I can get the... Oh, excuse me. I can still get the paint scheme I like, and, you know, it's a raced version. So it was kind of a two birds, one stone incident there. But, um, you know, it's a solid car. If you like the paint scheme, this is definitely a cool one to get. They did have a clean version, so if you're interested in that one, uh, you can check that one out. But I prefer having some race damage on there. I think it makes the wheels look better, having just a little bit of marking around it. So, um, But that'll pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the notification bell and subscribe if you are new for daily diecast content. Um, stay tuned. Today is obviously New Year's Eve, so I hope you guys are all ready for for a happy new year 2020 is one day from over everybody let's let's uh we're gonna go we're gonna look back on some 2020 stuff uh in 2021 on our first day but also um i have finally uh figured out what i want to do for my new year's special and i'm not gonna say you just kind of have to stay tuned and turn on that bell so you don't miss it when it goes live but new year's special we're gonna have a video so um anyway that'll wrap it up thanks for watching and uh this has been race craze and we'll see you in the next diecast review